because it's really cheap in Gibraltar 60 cents a litre half the price of the UK We're walking up the rock to find the monkey It's warm It's really hot We've got the pound we walking back two and a half hours Yeah and we've barely made it halfway because we kept taking all the wrong routes I think there'd be a signpost there now If anyone wants to know, you go up Europa Road and then you turn left onto Engineers Road. having to dive on the prop because we were just leaving the key and the the stern line got wrapped around the prop didn't it so yeah all these lines that come out of people's boats here they're on floating lines that lead back to the dock and uh, one end of it got dragged in so we haven't got very far and Ben's having to dive on. My I'm going to have to do a review on that because it's completely useless. Depends if it was the big line or the small line. Well, I mean, the big line's definitely being drawn in. So what, it went in. But anyway, you should cut the little line before it dragged the big line in there. True. Right. Not a good start to the day. <laughs> oh dear. It's not good, is it? Bloody hell, what a knot. It has cut, it's cut the big rope. Right. Well. Um, but I'm hoping it's only cut off At the, end of the it. tip of it. And, um, but that was trying to go round and round through the slot and the thing, so I'm going to go have to see if the rudder's alright. Um, I'm hoping for their sake that's still attached to the block. Yeah. A little bit rolling, but we're not even out on the harbour yet, so. On our way, but we might not make it all the way to where we thought we would today because it probably a bit far now with late leaving so um, we'll probably try and get about six hours on we? Over the next four weeks we've made our way east up the coast of Mediterranean Spain. Sailing out of season in the Med can mean changeable weather and frequent gales. Too much wind to not enough wind and the engine's on and we are murdering. And then loads of wind again. Costa del sold my ass. I just want to get in there.
what to do when you're stuck in port. Drink gin and play cards. Windy TV is saying it's like three point, a building to three point something metres mid evening this evening, and then tomorrow it's going to go to like five metres, nearly 4.9. Coming up to five o'clock in the morning, and it is just going crazy in the marina here. The waves that are making their way in here and causing this surge is putting so much strain on all our lines. <laughs> Basically, broken our fair leads off on both sides. So we're hoping the the cleats are going to hold out. Just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Can you hear that? This is the tune that we had to sleep to last night. <laughs> not only that, is that the boat we're standing on might as well be sailing, it's moving so much. We might as well be acting out in the bay in like five metre swell. Like, why, why would you ever have, like, a motion detector alarm on a boat <laughs> that's moored in this harbour? Oh, it is. Just insane, isn't it? Oh, not much wind. Well, none at all. So we're motor sailing. Just so bad, it is rubbish. Really, really, really sad. I mean, probably because it's been storming, it's all been sort of washed up. so we're going to try and hang it over the edge to stop the rolling motion a little bit. I think it works. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. But it certainly takes the sting out of the roll a little bit. So this sort of shows the principle how it's supposed to work. See through the water. It's like a sort of butterfly hinge. Good firewood here. Yeah?
Motel Cabo de Gata en Melilla Radio, Motel Cabo de Gata en Melilla Radio, Pam Pam. Several pneumatic boats in unknown position with people on board adrift or underway, sailing from the Moroccan coast and bound for the Spanish coast. All ships in the area are requested to give us a lookout and report any sighting to nearest radio coastal station or MRCC Almeria. This is Motel Cabo de Gata and Melilla Radio at 2013-29 UTC March. Happy Captain. I feel better if I slept okay last night. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> well, potentially just under four hours. <clears throat> and we're headed for pretty much a tiny fishing hub with no yacht support. <laughs> There's some big waves out here. Yeah, it is actually four past to get larger. I think Cabo Sacrifice means something. <gasps> Sounds like the Spanish for cave sacrifice. Pretty much. <laughs> and we're headed straight for it. Yeah. Or straight round it. Straight round it. And it does look super rough. Oh. And breaking where this deep water ravine on here, this real big cut into the seabed, approaches the thing. Do you think I should go further out to sea a little bit? Uh, yeah. But this is what we came for, it's experience, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we're making this great sailing at the moment, like seven, seven and a half knots. I mean, okay, there's a bit of a swell, but it's not too bad. The, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind the swell or anything, or strong winds. It's just knowing we can get into a yeah. port safely. I mean, it's annoying that our mirror mast's not easy access in yeah. the westerly. Yeah, and seeing what the waves were doing at Fuendroli the other day, <clears throat> I don't want that situation where they're breaking. I mean, we've got two and a half metres as well now, I would say. It's going to go and up. it's going to go up to three by the end of the day. And when's it going to go up to 30 plus? I wanted to come to the Mediterranean. <laughs> it's you. think you thought it was all hot tubs and pina coladas? Yeah. <laughs> found our anchorage for the night. It's still blowing kind of 20 to 30 knots but we're being held on our anchor nicely so there's no swell which is great. So we've decided not to go to, sh to shore? No, we we're gonna try and have a beach fire but I don't I think, think so. Yeah, just get blown away. It looks like the walking around here is absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just hunker down for a night and hope the anchor holds. Yeah, I'm back in anyway. Yeah. I'm really tired.
nice damn wind sailing. We're on our way to I think it's called Agoilas. But we've been we've got eight knots now and we've been doing about six and a half the whole way. So it's been a really nice day, hasn't it? It's been really good sailing, yeah, so yeah. why not I don't know, but we did find this swell, which apparently pirates used to come and get their fresh water from. Well, we've had a great day and it was a lovely, lovely, lovely sail, and now we are in this beautiful bay. Wonderful coast on. Unnerving. I've got the yeah. shakes a little bit. They came so close. They made a big wave as they came past. Did a donut. <laughs> they were, they were about four metres away from us. Yeah. I mean, they were waving at us. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dan. I think it's Saturday and they're out for like a, for a jolly. A joy ride. All been to the local bar. Yeah, probably. So we're just coming into Cartagena and we're going to be going into the marina, um, Yacht Port Cartagena, and we'll be there for about a week. Because um, my mum and dad are coming to stay, which I'm really excited about. And we've got some jobs to do whilst we're there. Last night, Ben. I don't know. Who are you blaming? Your dad. Well, I'd be inclined to blame him too, I think. Nice and early, thought we'd have a nice early night, and I said to Daddy, wait to get a glass. And I said, get a glass, don't get a bottle, and he snuck his finger up to me. Right, it's April 1st, um, 2017. We've just left Cartagena. Um, we've got a beautiful day to try and catch the last of the favourable winds to get as close to Denia as we can really before, I don't think we're going to make it, I think the winds are going to turn against us um, on Wednesday and then they're going to be against us for a week. So we're trying to get to somewhere that would be nice and cheap to stay um, whilst we wait for those winds to change again before trying to make our final passage from Denia um, to Formentera. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice day. Anchorage just off San Juan or San Juan, how do you say it? And it is right next to Alicante, which is over that way. And basically, at the last minute, we sort of just turned in here and thought we'd come and check it out because we can save ourselves 50 euros. And it's pretty good, it's a little bit 
roly, but Ben's just put a kedge anchor out. Not far to the shore, so in the morning we can go for a coffee and go to the shops and stock up because the cupboards are bare. two head sails up the same furler yeah. and the idea being that when you, you just put the outside one is winched when you're when you're going to windward or you're on a reach and as the wind comes behind you behind 120 degrees then you can winch one one leaf of the sail across so you end up with a you know so if you're on a tack like that and get to 120 the wind's coming in from behind you you can winch this one across and then you've got a twin head sail rig mm -hmm. that hopefully you can furl up the test today will be to see if we can furl it obviously if you're doing this properly you have two identical genoas made up at exactly the same weight fabric with exactly exactly the same dimensions and then they should sit inside each other not neater than these two do but obviously it doesn't give you great windward performance, it gives you much better downward performance and it's, it's for cruising only, so for short stuff like we're doing today, it's useless, we're in testing. Slightly more complicated in order to get two ropes to get through. Just been boarded by customs. I think they thought we were a bit weird having this up. Eating popcorn. Watching a movie. Watching a movie. They probably thought, hang on a minute, they're not sailors. Let's arrest them. Good. Um, that's Benadorm over there. We're missing it. Thank God, yeah. Going to go and find an anchorage around the corner. We've just rowed all the way over to try and land on that little beach over there thinking we'd go for a walk up the lovely mountain um, and the wind picked up and we think that the north are coming in a bit early that we better weren't worried about I think we'd get stuck on a stony beach um, and the swell's going to build up and we'll be able to get back so mm -hmm. we're going to go and that's what they call the Ifach we're going to go and anchor on, on this side of that just by the harbour What's going on, Ben? It's the wind, not the windy. All of a sudden. It's a good job we did come back when we did. Yeah, I didn't I wouldn't be able to go back. Quite gusty as well going over these mountains. <sighs> I don't like being taken by surprise. It's crappy Love. maps, dude. <laughs> I don't know, he's just coming straight for us. Right, we might get a better flat now. I don't like it! It's all calmed down a bit now, hasn't it? Yeah, you're a bit happier now. I'm a bit scared. Quite the unforecast tail, wasn't it, really? Yep, it predicted what, 19 knots? Yeah, gusting 19. And we, you saw 40 at one point, didn't you? Yep. But it was blowing a constant 35, but quite a lot of it. So this is Calpe, is it? Oh, yeah. And now, it's a lovely day. I was going to say, look at it. <laughs> ben, you're always trying to be too extreme. And it's sunny, and it's warm, and there's hardly any wind in here. And what a contrast. 